We bring you the good, the bad, and the sad. Hey friends, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. We're down at the bunny hutch today, and aren't they adorable? Well, we've uh, you know been we've been raising meat rabbits for oh, what about a year, year and a half now, yeah, something about like a year that. And, a half. Yeah. and we talk about the wonderful poop that we use on pretty much everything except pasta, and <laughs> and how adorable they are, and how easy they are to process. Well. You know, we've had some, some litters lately, and lots of bunny rabbits, lots of cute ones. And, you know, we showed you the one, I think we showed you anyway, Flower. She was all black and had the little white stripe down her face. Well, she sadly, she passed. And then so did her sister, and a brother, and then another sister. Got started getting a little worried about what's going on with our rabbits. Well, we had a lot of storms, so we were wondering, okay, is there an issue with our heart? You know, is Starbuck, you know, bad genetics? But we've never had this issue before, no. so. And we raised several litters to full, full yeah. size. Well, I don't have any in front of me here, but. But, Miss Research over here started doing some more research and we were well, wondering. Well, because we not only lost them, we had lost a few others as well. Right, and it just. Something wasn't right. Something I figured right. we were yeah. doing something wrong. Yeah, well, we believe we figured it out. Would you like to tell them what we figured out? Well, so we thought we were introducing the green slowly. So when you have bunnies, um, you want to introduce green slowly because they're um, digestive system, their stomachs are very, very sensitive in the beginning. As they transition from mama's milk. Yes, as they go from mama's milk to regular food, um, you want to introduce greens slowly. Well, we thought we had introduced it slowly, but apparently we didn't. And we think it might be because of the spring flush yeah. um, that we had just introduced too much of the spring flush grasses and weeds a little too soon and unfortunately their little stomachs couldn't handle it and if they get too much green too soon it can kill them and unfortunately it did and it's a very very difficult lesson and i i wish i would have thought about the spring flush i i didn't well, so and, you know and for those of you who don't maybe understand the spring flush if you haven't been following us for very long it's when spring comes in and everything turns green, the grass is growing and there's all kinds of nutrients in it. And you can see, especially with cows, they'll eat it and they get what they call scours. Basically it's mm -hmm. diarrhea and it's all over their back end. It's a wet, nasty mess. And it usually clears up within a few days. Mm -hmm. If it's a young calf, that's a different matter. You need to take care of that. And we got a video on that. Yes, we uh, do. On, on what you can use to uh, remedy scours in your livestock, so. Right. But apparently bunny rabbits have a lot more sensitive stomachs and I think it's our fault that these guys died. It is our fault, unfortunately, these you know, guys if, died. If this is uh, an accurate assessment. I'm 100% I'm sure I'm like, yeah. th doing the research that we've done, we've raised plenty of litters, we've never had an issue with Starbuck. These are mamas that we have raised, they're young. Um, yeah. <clears throat> same mamas, same buck, nothing was different except the spring flush greens. So we wanted to tell you about it because y'all know we don't hide anything, right? We want to talk to you about the successes. We want to talk to you about the failures and the, unfortunately, the really bad mistakes. Hey, but that's how um, we learn together. Yeah. And so, and hopefully if some of you are just getting into meat rabbits, this is something we wanted to bring to you so that you could avoid making the same mistake that we did. Or any rabbits. They don't have, necessarily have to be meat rabbits, but um, shoot, I lost what I was going to say. <laughs> I do that a lot. It's okay. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Very friendly rabbits. Most of them. Most. <laughs> they never bite. They're actually no. really good rabbits. They're yeah. really calm. Yeah. Silver foxes. That's what we raise. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to talk about? Yeah. But uh, on good news, um, we actually brought some genetic diversity in during mountain preparedness. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. During that rainy, rainy event, we were out there. It was us and a whole lot of vendors, and we had a good time. Met a lot of good people. And somebody went over to look at some seeds. There was a young lady walking around with her baby rabbits and petting them, and they were adorable. Very, very knowledgeable young lady. Very we were, knowledgeable. We were yeah, quite from impressed. Seeds for generations. Yes, we were very impressed. And we impressed. buy a lot of seeds from them. So. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> them and MI Gardener. That's right. And so Denise went over. I just want to look at the rabbits. I told the vendor next to me, I'm like, she just, she's going to go buy a rabbit. He why was, did, he was why did you pick him out? Because we wouldn't normally need another buck. We don't. But he's chocolate. And we don't have a brown silver fox. Right. So. I knew she'd get him. <laughs> we were supposed to come home with zero rabbits. We, we took two. To give away. Right. Because we had a, a raffle there to raise funds for our charity, the Gem right. Foundation. And uh, so we ended up coming home with all three. Yes. And we were supposed to come up with zero. Right. But I guess at the same time we should announce, I don't think we ever announced it, but the good people over at the Farm Connection in uh, Marshall, North mm -hmm. Carolina, were the winners of the, the rabbits. So mm -hmm. they're, unfortunately they're still here. They, they, were, they were going on to their, to their parents' house or something after the event. So we said, we'll bring them home. We'll just connect at some point. So they're still here waiting to, to go home. We'll but. get them there. That's right. We'll see him huh. sooner or later. But but let's bring you over to meet BB. BB. <laughs> Brown bunny. <laughs> All right. So here's BB. Brown He's bunny. About five months old now. Almost five months. About that. Yeah. Yeah. So he's still little, but I don't know if you can see it, but he's really pretty chocolate. And until Mountain Preparedness, we didn't know they had chocolate. We did. We thought it was just the, the lavender, the white, and black ones. Mm -hmm. Well, and kind of a silvery black, but yeah, so we have a chocolate, chocolate money. Well, it's diversity in genetics. That's right. Right? So there's a good reason. There is a good reason. <laughs> He's actually very friendly. Mm hmm. I uh, just wanted to kind of share with you uh, what's been happening with the rabbits. Um, so what we have done to solve this, we are giving less grains and we are doing more hay right now. So that way, um, Loki, what are you doing? Sorry, hold on. All right, so sorry before Loki so rudely interrupted us. Um, we're giving more hay, we're giving just a little bit of greens, and then every couple of days we're increasing the amount of green just to get their stomachs used to it, and so far, so good. Um, but we're obviously going to, as we have new babies come in, we will be doing more hay for a longer period of time. Um, we don't really feed pellets in the spring and summer and a good portion of the fall, but we'll probably get some pellets just to transition. Yeah. Um, but mostly it's, it's hay right now and that seems to be working. So, yeah. so hopefully that uh... slower introduction to greens, especially in the spring because the grasses and stuff have just a lot more protein in it. Yeah. So hopefully that's <clears throat> helped somebody out there, but uh, look who found their mittens. Three little kittens. So if you are in the Western North Carolina area and you are in need of some friendly barn cats, <laughs> they are the friendliest. They really are friendly. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Very friendly, but they are pretty much ready to be weaned from their mama. So if you need a, a barn cat, uh -oh, we've she's, got... She's trying to jump. She's not going to jump. She's trying to jump. She's got her claws in my shoulder. I know she's not going to <laughs> jump. I can tell. But we have several more. <clears throat> These are just the ones that were easily at hand, but they are adorable and they're very friendly. So anyway, right. okay. And uh, don't forget October 5th, um, our homesteaders meet up, but just very low key, casual time to just get together ourselves. And then um, Permapastures, Billy and Michelle at Permapastures Farm will be there. Um, so you can sign up at the website, renewedhomestead.com. And then you can just click on events and RSVP there. Um, once you RSVP, we'll send you out an email with some additional details, but October 5th. And while you're there, you might as well go over to the renewedhomestead.com forward slash shop and get your hoary hoary knife because not all of you have them yet. I know that for a fact. And your comfrey root, 
We have plenty of that right now. Good time to plant. And uh, plantain, comfrey plantain, Seth. Mm -hmm. We still have a little bit of that left, right? Mm -hmm. Do we have any deodorant or is that all sold out? I think we've got two left uh, right now. Yeah. I can make more if somebody wants it. but So we'll see. But anyway, go shopping. Father's Day is coming up. <laughs> That's true. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for being here with us through the good and the bad. Yep. And uh, we'll keep you posted on the rabbits um, as this goes. But uh, we know what we've done wrong. We're making adjustments. It just stinks that we had to learn this way. That's right. But hopefully we can be a blessing to you guys with that information. I see. Oh, one eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging in there. Hang in there. All right. Take care, everybody. God bless. See you on the next video. Bye, y'all. Bye. Make it so.